Hawaii was struck by 4.0 magnitude earthquake at the Loihi Seamount volcano. As we know, Mauna Loa, the biggest earth volcano in the world, Kilauea, active recently, and Loihi Seamount, all share the same magma chamber, which has three fingers, one under Mauna Loa, one under Kilauea, and the other one under Loihi Seamount. And this was the four magnitude earthquake, we're going to see the maps, that shook the whole of the Hawaiian Islands. And Loihi Seamount, submarine volcano, it's uh, 3,199 feet below sea level. The current status is normal dormant, one out of five. And um, we know that, as we said, it shares the same body as Mauna Loa and Kilauea. It's been active this past uh, day with at magnitude 2, 2.7, 2.1, 1.9, 2.4, and this latest one of four magnitude that shook the whole of the island, the islands of Hawaii. Loihi Seamount is, looks like it's going to be the new volcano adding land to the big island of Hawaii. The youngest volcano of the Hawaiian chain lies 35 kilometers southeast of the island of Hawaii. And Loihi is the Hawaiian word for long, has an elongated morphology dominating by two curving rift zones extending north and south of the summit. And the summit regions contains a caldera about three by four kilometers wide, dotted with numerous lava cones. The summit platform includes two well-defined pit craters. Now, deep and shallow seismicity indicate a magmatic plumbing system. Uh, as we said, there are those that said it's distinct from the Kilauea Valdera volcano. Others say, no, it's the same magma chamber. During 1996, a new pit crater was formed at the summit of the Loihi volcano. And vol a continued volcanism is expected to eventually build a new island at Loihi. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this shows the, uh, the map of the hotspot right under there, the big island of Hawaii. So the uh, New Island will be built at Loihi. Time estimates for the summit to reach the sea surface range is in another 10,000 to 100,000 years, according to Volcano Discovery. And the Loihi Seamount Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, uh, yesterday's announcement for June 2nd, U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory recorded the magnitude 4 earthquake located beneath Loihi Seamount Wednesday, June 2nd, 6.44 p.m. Hawaii time. The earthquake was centered about 42 kilometers or 26 miles southeast of Nalehu, under Loihi Seamount, depth of 7 miles or 11 kilometers. A map showing its location posted on HVO. Moderate shaking, maximum intensity of 5 on the modified Mercalli intensity scale. It's been reported across the island of Hawaii. At that intensity, significant damage to buildings and structures not expected. According to HVO scientist in charge Ken Hon, the earthquake had no apparent effect on Kilauea or Mauna Loa volcanoes. And he said, we see no detectable changes in activity at the summits or along the rift zones of Loihi, Kilauea or Mauna Loa as a result of this earthquake. But he said aftershocks are possible it could be felt. HVO, as we know, continues to monitor Kilauea, Mauna Loa, and other Hawaiian volcanoes for any changes. And Loihi Seamount is, as we know, an active volcano on the seafloor south of Kilauea Volcano, about 19 miles or 30 kilometers from the shoreline of the Big Island of Hawaii. And the top of the seamount is 3,199 feet below sea level, or 975 meters below sea level. The volcano consists of a broad summit area marked by three pit craters and two prominent rift zones extended from the summit about 
uh, 22 kilometers or 13.6 miles south, southeast, and about 15 kilometers, 3.9 miles north, northeast. And the volcano likely has a shallow magma chamber between one to uh, two and a half kilometers or 0.6 to 1.6 miles deep below the summit. In mid-May of 2020, HVO detected more than 100 earthquakes below Loihi. The earthquake activity may have represented a brief magmatic intrusion or movement of magmatic fluids within the volcano edifice. Okay, here we are again at Sizemo Berkeley, and this is our four magnitude earthquake showing us that uh, it's in the area of Loihi, right there, and of course, earthquake swarms in the area as well. Lots of seamounts around there, but this is the earthquake swarms 4.0, and Okay, so here we are at the uh, Hawaii Volcano Observatory Loihi monitoring, and these are the earthquakes. This is the four magnitude that we had, and this is just the past hour. Another one here, magnitude 2.1. And um, this is the seamount. Now, going back to the more information concerning the seamount, there, there it is again. As we said, it's about 3,200 feet below sea level and uh, with two caldera depressions. It's not known when it will breach sea level, but we can suspect a rate of growth of 16.4 feet per 1,000 years. It could take as much as 200,000 years to reach the ocean surface. It all depends on the eruption rate of Loihi. Now let's go to the, um, ge uh, the geodesy. And uh, the geodesy, as we know, is all the GPS stations worldwide. It shows you, and I'll leave a link below for you. It shows you all the GPS stations showing the Earth movements all around the planet. And here we are at Hawaii. And we'll take the ones that are closest to the shore. This is where the Oihi Seamount would be. And let's take this one, K-A-P, K-A-E-P. And if this goes, uh, this shows the movement east and north. If it goes up, that means it goes east. It's not going up, it's going down. So that means it's going west. This shows uh, north-south. It's not going north, it's not going up, so it's going south. So this area is shifting southeast. Southeast, this way. And we know that that area is sloughing off southeast and it's inflating very rapidly since the Kilauea 2018 eruption. Okay, there you go. And that is exactly what's happening to this area. It's sloughing off. That could be breaking off. This is going southeast. Let's go to this one here, up there, the northern part of the, the island. Oh, okay, that's not going southeast. That's going Did we say that one was going southeast? Sorry, let's go back again. No, it's not going, it's going west. Okay, that's going southwest, southwest. And this is going northwest. Steady, going northwest. So what's happening here? This is going northwest, this is going southwest. What's going with this one here? It's going, that is again going, it's going north-west, north-west. Let's go to this one here, Honolulu, the island of Honolulu. That again is going northwest and seasonal, okay? Let's take another one near the uh, Pahala area. Or no, Mauna Loa, south of Mauna Loa, that is also going northwest and deflating. But whereas this one is not going northwest, this is going, let's see. Yeah, that's going northwest, inflating sort of northwest. Whereas this is, as we said, is going, what can I tell you? That's inflating and it's going 
Southwest. What's happening here? Let's take another one here. Pahala. Same thing. You see that that went down because of the eruptions and very strange movement. They're not showing the same movement. This is going northwest and steady. Let's take another one here. Okay, that's going southwest and inflating. So the island, the big island of Hawaii, showing movement going southwest, movement going northwest, and the area of Kilauea inflating. I'll leave links below for you for this. All of you there, please be very careful because it's active. Thank you for your support. Please leave your comments. Thank you.